software do I have like? Uh, so I think one of the downsides of being a software developer is that it can take a decent toll on your health if you don't take care of yourself. Since I work for a US based company, I sleep very late and hence I wake up early late as well. I'm usually up at around 1 and the first thing I try to do that is take care of my health. I have a small gym set up right inside my house and the first half an hour of my day I try to give to my health. I usually have a really long day lined ahead and I've seen that whenever I'm spending at least half an hour to an hour a day working on my health, my day usually goes much better and I'm glad I've been able to make this a part of my routine. Now it's out 2 p.m. that I start teaching a small cohort of friends and family that I started recently. So for the next half an hour or so, around 3 to 4 days a week, I try to spend my time trying to clear doubts of these folks and also teaching them what are the right things to do if you want to start working remotely. Now, you know what it is? It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. Open source is a big part of this code and my hope really is that in the next 3 to 4 months, the small group of press that family that I have, some of them are able to either get a remote job or get a job in tech at all. A lot of these are not technical folks, a lot of these are friends who have known from the New York Times and they've been wanting to work remotely. So this is a small experiment from my side. Uh, it's a really small quote of people. I actually want to see if I can create some impact teaching. And if I can, then hopefully in the future I teach more people. Now it's around 3 p.m. and it's still fairly early for me because a lot of my team is in the US and hence I have a small kickstart to my day. There's a really nice cafe downstairs that I co work from time to time. And this is usually the time when I look at notifications from the day before, any alerts that I might have missed, any bug that may have popped up, and start to plan my day. If it's been a lazy day and I don't want to make my breakfast, I have my breakfast, or you could say lunch because it's almost 3 pm now. I have that and then I head back home to actually start working. The next 3 to 4 hours are extremely peaceful. My co-workers haven't dropped in and hence I try to spend and work as much as I can basically get all the code pushed because once meetings start and once everyone logs in, I have to spend a lot of my time doing other things. So the next 3 to 4 hours I'll basically block out for coding. And I do take small breaks here and there, but this is the most productive part of my day. Around 4 pm to 7 ish pm when I start making dinner. I've been fairly active on YouTube these days, thankfully, and I hope to remain that way. So I've made this a consistent part of my routine. I'll either shoot or I'll be script writing with my team. 
but I'll spend at least an hour every day doing some sort of paint making. If I feel like editing, I edit sometimes myself. Hi everyone, and in this video, we'll be discussing what is Web3 and how you can create your own NFT. With that, let's get right into the video. But the most important part here is for me to shoot. Uh, I have to be very regular at YouTube uh, and I've promised myself to stay that way for a while. What you are trying to do is how you can fund an NFT of your own. As the audience grows and the content gets more and more mature, I want to start actually teaching how to code. Up until this point, I've been very lucky with the audits I've gotten and I think it's time for me to provide more and more value. If you guys want more frequency though, let me know in the comments and I'll see what I can do. Now it's around 8 pm and I recently also picked up an old hobby. I used to play the guitar when I was in school and I played a little bit of it in college. But for the past few years, I'd been missing out. So I recently bought an electric guitar and I'm finally back in the game. And this isn't a regular activity, it doesn't happen every day. But I now feel finally comfortable playing the guitar and I want to try more instruments. 15 to 20 minutes here, I have been more than that. Uh, it's almost around the time that my team starts to wake up. And hence I head back to my desk and the next 4 to 5 hours are completely blocked from my work. Uh, the team is online and hence uh, uh, a lot of this is not completely productive time coding. I have to attend a few meetings. Uh, again, we're, we're very asynchronous, so it's not too involved when it comes to uh, interacting with me, but there's, it's still not as productive as the first three to four hours of my day. I code for the next three hours and we have a daily stand up around 2.15 p.m. IST. That's when I basically give out my updates and call it a night. Before I call it a night though, I have a lot of friends who are night owls just like I am. So sometimes they'll come off and we might go out for grocery shopping. Uh, there's 24 7 very close to my house that's the only place that's open this late and that's followed by a tt game if we had the time or just walking around the society followed by me hitting the bed around 3 30 4 a.m in the standard time so as you can see uh it's a fairly weird time schedule i wake up around 5 p.m which is sort of late and i sleep at 4 a.m which is definitely very late but this is sort of the the lifestyle of a company comfortable and accustomed to so i don't really feel like anything weird is happening and as i said a lot of my friends also sleep very late so i think this is one con slash pro if you like working late or working in a remote company or working for a company in the us and to each their own this is like a very personal choice but it's been working pretty well for me so i hope to sort of stick to it for as long as i can that was more or less my schedule I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next one.